when you were in Congress, you supported the Green New Deal. And in 2019, you said, quote, there is no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. Fracking, as you know, is a pretty big issue, particularly in your must-win state of Pennsylvania. Sure. Do you still want to ban fracking? No, and I made that clear on the debate stage in 2020, that I would not ban fracking. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. Okay. She says she made it clear on the debate stage in 2020. She was no longer running for president in 2020. She had been chosen by Joe Biden as his running mate, and she had one debate, and it was against Vice President Mike Pence. I will show you that in one minute. But first, I am going to show you the clip from 2019 to which Dana Bash was referring. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. So, yeah, and, and, and starting... And starting with what we can do on day one around public lands, right? And, um, and then there has to be legislation. But yes, and this is something I've taken on in California. I have a history of working on this issue. And to your point, um, and, you know, the, we have to just acknowledge that the residual impact of fracking is enormous in terms of the impact on the health and safety of communities. Okay, so now there's a true believer. There's somebody who actually said her position and then backed up why she has that position. You can see that seems sincere. So when did did she take the stage in 2020 and say, I was wrong, fracking's not the way, and I reversed myself on my promise to you absolutely that I'm going to ban fracking. When did she do that? I don't remember that. Most people don't remember that. Here's what she actually said in the Pence-Harris VP debate in 2020. I will repeat, and the American people know, that Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. Joe Biden will not ban fracking because Joe Biden's position was, let's not ban fracking. And he was at the top of the ticket. But listen to how she mischaracterized it. All right, I'm gonna go th back through it with you. Will you ban fracking? She, she asked, no. And I made that clear on the debate stage in 2020 that I would not ban fracking, that I would not ban fracking. Let's let's listen again. Let's re 2020. I made that clear that I would not ban fracking. And but before you listen to this, here's your follow-up answer. In 2020, I made very clear where I stand and I have not changed that position. I kept my word. Watch. I will repeat, and the American people know, that Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. She's a liar. And this was the biggest anchor fail of the evening. When you get ready for an interview like this, you must study the candidate's positions. There was zero doubt this was going to come up. Zero doubt by Dana Bash and CNN and zero doubt by Kamala Harris. And as the anchor, your obligation is to study the previous positions, which Dana Bash did to some extent. She saw that the comments in 2019 and then figure out where the candidate is likely to go and be ready for it so that you can ask appropriate follow-ups. Dana Bash apparently ignored or saw and disregarded the answer in 2020. I understand why. It's clearly not Kamala Harris saying, I reverse my position. But it, you would want to know. You'd ask your team, get me everything she said on fracking at all the debates. Make sure I know. And so she should have known that in 2020, she was asked about this issue at a debate and she restated something that was Joe Biden's position, not hers. And I believe that her failure to do that is what let, left her unprepared to fact check the candidate in the moment, which was what was required of the journalist sitting there. She should have said, no, madam, what you said on the debate stage in 2020 was that Joe Biden would not ban fracking, that Joe Biden wouldn't do it. You have never reversed your own position except in a paper statement that was released by your campaign. So when did you personally flip? Instead, she got away with this. That distinction would have been noted by a journalist who was prepared. And I'm sorry, but she wasn't. She let her get away with it. 
I mentioned at the top, this CNN fact checker. This guy's so annoying. I mean, he's just so annoying. It's the double, double standard and the fervor that he applies to Trump versus Kamala Harris. I mean, it's obvious in his little gentle fact check of Kamala here. Watch. It makes perfect sense that at the time she was speaking on behalf of Biden, the president, not the vice president, sets administration policy. But maybe other people feel differently. I certainly did not hear anywhere in there uh, Kamala Harris saying that she personally had abandoned her previously expressed 2019 view. Rather, again, she was speaking for Joe Biden. Oh, my God, he's so weak. Good Lord, he's weak. Maybe others feel differently. How the fuck could we feel differently? It's express. It's explicit. She didn't say it. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. I hate failures in the press like him. That's ridiculous. How do play it again? How do I feel differently that she was stating her own opinion? Let's watch for it. I will repeat. And the American people know that Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. There's no feeling differently. Stop it. Just stop with your false I'm kind of fair, you know, I, it's, it's a matter of opinion. You could go one way or the other. You cannot. She did not reverse herself. There's no longer version of that answer that makes it better. She only spoke to Joe Biden's position because he beat her in the primary in which she was saying she wanted to ban fracking. He beat her. Americans don't want that. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.